Nerdy Librarian here, bringing you another bonus content and video for this legendary playthrough of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. As you can see, last this is coming right off the heels of an episode where we had the Battle of Whiterun. Which is why you can see catapults going off every now and again. Fire everywhere. It's really a mess here. It's not great. But no, today, we're going to be ignoring that. No, 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 no. Today, it's time for Gone Fishing 5. Because last time when we left Felix fishing, he got redemption. He was able to neutralize the mud crabs that were giving him grief, along with everything else. Like, let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, so crustacean extermination. He, man he finally managed to take out all 12. And then following that, a he took out a horker <laughs> that had swallowed a vampiric ring. Yeah, and then also managed to get fish in frozen biomes. So, a lot got done last time. A lot got, a lot got done concerning gone fishing. But, now it's time to focus on underground fishing, which means we have to go to locations, caves really, I mean obviously, but cave locations that have water, underground water locations, if that makes sense. So a good one to go to, because I, I did look this one up, because I just wanted to make sure I was going to know what I was doing or getting into can go to the Great Lift at Alton and head down into Black Ridge, which I'm going to do that. Now it should be clear down here, <gasps> they do respawn, interesting. See I, I don't typically travel back down to Black Ridge, so, oh boy, everything spawned back in apparently down here. So. Dwarven Centurions, Falmer, probably some Frostbite Spiders over in that corner, Dwarven Spheres, you know, all the, all the fun stuff. So I'm not going to concern myself with that. No. I'm going to take this opportunity to travel across... travel across Blackreach until I find a good fishing location. And, you know, I'll pick up some Crimson Nerd along the way. Oh, Soul Gems would be nice too, but I'm running pretty close on carrying capacity, sadly. Which always seems to be a prevalent issue. Ah, yes. The fighting arena. I think it's... No, it's probably not meant to be a fighting arena, but... I mean, I mean, this place is synonymous with me. Well, for me, it's synonymous because last time I was here, I lured a dwarven centurion and pulled the lever and got it to get sliced up by the dwarven blades. It was fantastic. It was definitely something to watch. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, the only thing that won't respawn is the dragon that's down here which I defeated which I defeated him when when I explored this place um hmm here's the thing I don't I don't think there's a formal fishing location down here at all I think it's there are certain fish that you can swim around and catch I think that's how it works. So the place that I need to go is that tower there. Or the water near it. That's where it's going to be deepest. Just makes the most sense, right? I mean, if we want to nab these uh, underground fish, which are... I hit the wrong button. Oh, I have to read the list of underground fish first. That would definitely help. This is why you should always read the instructions. 
Uh, let's see here. A uh, list of underground fish. Now this this was written by the oh who who's this written by? Why am I blanking on the name? Oh, uh, and I'm not in a place to read Fishing Mastery Volume 4. Swims in deep water. That's, that's who wrote it. I should have remembered that. It's It's been a hot minute since I did a Gone Fishing video, so here we go. Good news. The other day, I stepped on a rock and nearly lost a scale. I was about to curse the rock, put it in an envelope, and mail it to a Daedric Prince, one of the nasty ones when I realized the rock was shaped like a fish. Surely this was a sign from the divines that you had succeeded in your tasks. I am glad to see the rock was correct, and I do not have to burn this letter in shame. As such, you will tr next travel to where rocks and fish live in harmony. The dank, sun-starved caves of Skyrim. From their waters I seek the following. Direfish, glass catfish, tripod spiderfish, vampire fish. I wish you luck, which you will almost certainly need, unless you have a lucky hat like I do. I will not loan you my hat, but you are welcome to read the fourth volume of Fishing Master to give yourself an edge. Which would have given us the locations of where these fish are, but I jumped the gun, and here we are, underground, looking for fish. Funny how that happens. Now, is, is that a book I might go back and read? Maybe. Is it crucial? No. Have I read every other book like that? Yes. Would it just be a waste of time? Possibly. Quite possibly. So, you know what? You know, let, maybe let's not read it. I mean, all, all you really need to know with underground fishing is anytime there's a body of water underground, there's a good chance you'll find fish there. Now, I have to be careful, because that's a Falmer camp over there. But, let's see. Ah, yes. What have we here? Tripod Spiderfish. Which, I already had one of those. I already have a Glass Catfish, so I need a Vampire Fish and a Dire Fish. Another Tripod Spiderfish. They're just resting at the bottom, which is interesting. Oh, that's a glass fish, glass fish. Okay. Glass fish there. Yeah, so like I said, this place I don't think is going to have a formal fishing bucket of supplies or anything. Now, it it appears that there are only certain types of fish that you can get down here, not necessarily all the types that you need. Tripod spider fish seem to be pretty prevalent. I've seen glass fish. Which, I guess that's fairly common. So, I mean, since I already have those two, I'm not, since I already have glass catfish, and since I already have tripod spiderfish, I'm not going to spend, I'm not going to spend too much time needlessly down here searching for fish. I think I've found what I'm going to find down here, fishing-wise. So, it's time to move on to another location. Which means going back through this familiar place again. The Tower of the Zark. Just bear with me as we run on through. <laughs> I brought your Elder Scroll back. Are you proud of me? I did what I was supposed to do with it. I defeated Alduin. Yep. I'm gonna head back up to Skyrim. So, as as I said, there are several locations with underground fishing. I'm going to go to one that is uh well, I won't say too easy, but let's say fairly easy. Ember Shard Mine. Yeah, what are you looking at? Nothing to see here. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. 
could go in the main entrance of Evershard Mine. However, I think it's going to be more beneficial, hopefully easier, if I go through the back entrance, unless there are wolves, and then that really, uh, that really makes things fun. Ah, you want me? No. Ooh. Okay. And by sneaking in through the back way, especially if bandits have respawned, I can, which they have, I can go ahead and clear out, clear this room out, and have a fairly safe fishing location. At least that. I mean, ideally, that's what would happen. Which, it looks as if they might make it pretty easy for me to do that. Except for this guy. Yeah, why, why anyone would go in the main entrance of this place, I don't know. Also, that was a pretty good... That was a pretty good, uh, shot there. <laughs> wow, I didn't miss, I did not miss any of those. That's a superb way to start this video off. Thank you for making it easy on me. You bandit scum. <laughs> also, I mean, just while I'm here, might as well take some of the, uh, golden gems that they have amassed here. What's in the chest? Ooh, a minor healing potion. Don't mind if I do. There will be a chest around the corner here. And, as you can see, I'm not spotted when, I, when I'm going around here. I've cleared this room out. Alright, novice lock. Easy. Excellent. Alright, now... There should be a fishing location, which there is. Which once again means I have to scroll over to this. Um Okay, Argonian fishing rod or Alicree fishing rod. I'm gonna go Argonian on this one. I don't know the sizing on the fish that I can potentially catch here. Or the, the two that I'm going after. Here's my guess, though. Um, one of them, I'm, one or both of them is at least uncommon. Ooh, dire fish, excellent. I'm just going after the vampire fish now, which I'm going to guess is the rare fish to catch. Which it's entirely possible that vampire fish is a small fish. Like, like I said, I, I only, I only looked up the locations of where to find these fish. I didn't look up the details on the fish and the reason for that is you know it all comes down to a lot of it comes down to RNG and yes I could make this easier on myself it might take less time to do that but at the same time you know it gives me an opportunity to <laughs> to get a little bit angry with the game you know yes I could do it the easy way and you're, like, you're, you're probably sitting there thinking, why wouldn't you do it the easy way? This seems counterintuitive. That seems counterproductive. Hey, you're right. You're absolutely right. That's why I'm doing it. Because it's counterproductive. It's funny. Especially when I pull up a bucket. It's absolutely useless. <laughs> absolutely useless. Oh, gosh. Especially when you drop the bucket on your foot. Like I just did there. It all worked out perfectly. <laughs> See, that, that's how it goes. So I got the dire fish from down here. But now, I have to move on to another underground location. Now let's switch back over to the bow here in case the wolves are back out back out that way. Um, Yeah, let's make it a supple ancient orc bow. That way I can fill up some soul gems as well for enchanting. Yeah. Yeah, they, they decided to stick around. That was not a good move on their part. Got him. Excellent. 
Ah, oh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? This is why you don't stick around here. That's... this is why. Okay, so now I need to go to another underground location with an underground body of water. I know there are several along here in the northern... in the northwestern part of Skyrim. Um... Let's see here. Yeah, no, that's Broken Home Hollow. Yeah, head, heading up north might be the best option here. Which, Fort Rogstad belongs to the Empire of the Imperials, which is the side that Felix here decided to side with in the Civil War. So, I can fast travel here and not have to worry about bandits or anybody else trying to attack. Hopefully. I, I keep saying hopefully a lot because, well, there's just some, there's things that you plan for and then they don't go according to plan and <gasps> stuff happens. Oh, like Felix breaking his ankle there. Or, no, nah, no, nah, he sprained it. He just sprained it. There wasn't enough damage there to constitute a break. He, he just hurt it pretty bad. No, like, you make plans and then the plans don't pan out. That happens all the time. Also, look at that cool building off in the distance. That'll be later in the playthrough. Because that, that belongs to one of the DLCs. The Dawnguard DLC. Which, so, for anyone that's... For anyone that has played this and has played that DLC, they'll know. You'll know. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember how far I have to go for those caves. It's pretty far, because there's, um... There's this fort here, which... I, I forget what its name is. I'm just gonna run past it quickly. That, this is probably something you'll see later on as well. Yeah, North Watch Keep it is controlled by the Thalmor. And it's it's an interesting location, put it that way. Um, let's see. This location is the launching point for... Yeah, it's the Icewater Jetty, which leads over there. So I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see, how far... Do we have to go? Yeah, there... Oh. Wait. I went the wrong direction from Fort Rockstad. My mistake. We just discovered a few locations freely. Nice. Excellent. That's not what I had in mind. That was purely unintentional. I, ju I just wasn't paying attention. That's what that was. No, the places that we want are going to be down this direction, which I think getting the mountain, getting down the mountain on this side is, well, no, it's not, oh, okay, that's, that's a broken ankle, Felix. Not, not gonna lie, that looked like it hurt, <laughs> sounded like it hurt. No, I'm, place I'm hoping to go here is either Lost Knife Hideout or Broken Ore Grotto. Let's see here. Yeah. Which I believe they're going to be... I, I want to say they're this direction. Sorry, I'm usually much better with directions than this, but... I, I think I might be a little distracted. I don't know why. Also, I missed that shot, really. <laughs> there you go, mud crab. Gotcha. Oh, I missed that. Okay. So, did that mud? Did the mud crab wreck? Is that what happened? I believe it is. Well. 
Thank you for uh, allowing me to fill up my soul gems. I'll be on my merry way. In search of caves with underground fishing. Um. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh, excellent, I guess. What have I stumbled into that looks to be two giant frostbite spiders going against mud crabs? Okay. Oh, this is... Yay, I'll take that. Oh, missed it. So, it's, it's a free opportunity to farm some soul gem filled. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh. Oh no, the mud crab got taken out. Oh yeah, no, they they got wrecked by these things. But I'll take a nice cinematic shot and finish that off and fill another one. Works for me. Ooh, spiky grass. Don't mind if I do. Grass pods. That'll work for alchemy. Uh yeah, no, I don't need anything there. Get my arrows back. I already have enough of this venom. I don't need more of it. And it's it's so low powered. It... What's this? You're trying to be sneaky? I don't think so. Oh. Not sneaky enough, apparently. Hey, don't mind me, Horkers. I'm just heading to the caves over here. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not after... I'm not after your tusks. I'm not after your pelts. Don't worry about it. Keep, keep your blubber to yourself. Okay, what place is this? Uh, oh, Ravenscar Hollow. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I just did that to buy me some time here. There's a saber cat after me. It's... It's chasing me. So I'm just going to uh, quickly go ahead and refill my stamina. And run away. You're mine. Oh. Oh. What it what is this garbage? What did I do to deserve your wrath? Best your ire. Why? Life. Hey, hey, work. Look, there's a perfectly good saber cat you could be going after. I'm gonna put you down. Could you not? Whoosh! I'll put you down too. Yeah, take that. Oh, wow. That did like nothing against you. Why do people keep saying I'll make a fine... Like, why do people keep saying Felix is gonna make a fine rock? You need to stop that. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. You know what? Take your... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This, no. This is gonna be a good old-fashioned slug fest. That's all you got. Ah, uh, never mind. It's not going to be good old fashioned slug fest because work is kicking my butt. Which Felix is also using claws to little effect. So, I mean, holds well that ends well. Oh, yeah, you're still after me. Thanks for that. Oh, did you heal yourself? <laughs> you're not the only one that has that trick. I can do that too. Oh, increase those skills too. Yeah, so this sword is doing double the damage that Felix's claws are doing. 
for a trouble. And as we beat this orc down, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Oh no! Oh! Oh man. That is. Well, that's a. Uh... That's an animation or a cinematic I don't see very often. Wow. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not usually this terrible with directions and remembering where things are in Skyrim. Just so you know. But I I do want to say this is yeah, no, we're heading in the right direction. Broken Ore Grotto, it's this way. Uh, I am waiting for a good death. Ah, uh, no. I'm I'm sorry. I have a one orc policy. <laughs> I've already dealt with one orc today. That was looking for a fight. I'm not going to deal with the second one. Okay. not how this is going to go. I'm on a mission. And that mission is to go to Broken Ore Grotto and get some fish. A vampire fish, to be specific. I don't need you getting in my way. Okay? <laughs> Capiche? Comprende? Yeah, so here we are. Broken Ore Grotto. Uh, yeah. I should go ahead and warn you now. There are going to be bandits on the inside. So, this isn't going to just be a simple... Get in, grab the fish, and get out. Trust the process on this one. There are certain things that have to be done in advance. Yeah, Black Blood Marauders. Oh, boy, okay. Oh, dodging and missing shots? Oh, boy. Oh, come on, come on. Anybody there? Oh, that's a strong marauder. Strong marauder. We're, ju we're just going to back out of the cave and cheese this guy to oblivion. That works. Oh, definitely works, definitely works. And then the arrow doesn't go where the reticle points. That's just classic. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just please take these arrows. Please. Come on. Anybody there? Wait for it. Now. Okay. There we go. Good. First two marauders here are taken out. I'm not going to fully clear this place out. At least I don't think. Shouldn't have to, right? Yep, there's where that arrow hit the railing, the banister, and did nothing. So I don't think there's going to be a formal fishing location. I could be wrong. But I think once again, it's going to be a situation where we have to swim around and catch some fish just in the water here but you never know so let's try to be stealthy about this try to be sneaky look for uh, vampire fish in particular nope that's a tripod spider fish there not what I need another tripod spider fish I'm beginning to see a pattern really beginning to see a pattern here yeah. Oh, well, there is actually a formal fishing supplies location here. That's very interesting. That's kind of where I thought it would be, of all the places down here. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh. Goodbye. Okay. So as long as they don't put the bridge up here... Should be fairly safe, I think. But in order to truly gauge that, I'm going to go up this ramp here.
because I don't want to have a bad day, courtesy of a Black Blood Marauder. Nope, should be good. Should be good. Oh! You know what? That works. That works. Rather than just block all that way back, swim. It's fine. It's probably shorter, because it's more of a straight line. Yep, that's a tripod kit. Oh, there's a skeleton down here. Hey, oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Other than the fact that, well, he's a skeleton. Uh, yeah. So, you know what? Let's go fishing. Uh, I'm gonna try the Alikri fishing rod this time around. Just because, well, the vampire fish is very likely a small fish. So hopefully we have some luck here. Get some nibbles. What have we got? Silverside perch. You are not on the list even. So thanks for that. Let's try this again. Uh, dire fish. Okay. So that's probably a fairly common catch as well. Is fine. I just my carry weight might be getting pretty close to its limit. That's a hist carp. You also are not on any lists. So I mean that's fun. Let's see here. Oh, we're at junk now. Yeah, no catching junk now it's looks like we need to move on to another fishing location I still haven't gotten around to uh, recording video with the buckets I promise I will eventually just not yet I have <sighs> that's something that I might have to wait a while for in order to be able to do that so I'm still gonna be hauling these buckets around just the various things that you can do with buckets, potentially. Potentially, I say. Like, like, at some point in time, I will devote a bonus content video to buckets. Let's see here. I'm, ha I'm having to check here the different location that I can find these underground fish at. So we went to em Embershard Mine. Um, let's try Lost a Knife Hideout. Where is that? I mean, I, I ought to know where that is. Right? Let's let, view it on the map. That works. Let's, let's do that. Uh, which is near... Oh, gosh. What have I done? Ah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I know where that's at. I think. I don't... I haven't been too near that location yet. No. Because it's... It's going to be around here somewhere. There, Darkshade is another location that is... That counts for this. That has no, that has underwater fish. So, I think I'll go to Darkshade first. However, I will say Darkshade is not one of my favorite locations. It can be a bit treacherous to deal with. But I'll go ahead and show you that. Because it'll actually let me fast travel now. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, something bad happened here. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet throw. Nope. It's still on him. They didn't steal it. Can confirm. 
You know, that thing's gonna- that's probably stale by now. Somebody left a perfectly good sweet roll in his pocket. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't look great here. A lot of bad stuff around here. Let's go ahead and wander on in. Uh... Trolls. Prepare to be trolled. By trolls. Like actual trolls. Or I can just troll the trolls who are trying to troll me. That works too. Oh no. Huh. Okay. Well, your table got wrecked here. Everything's all strewn about. This looked like it used to be nice. This looks like it used to be a nice place. Uh, I think it got wrecked though. Ooh, there's a strong box. I like that. Ooh, ruby and a silver ruby ring. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and quick save. Oh, an Argonian. Ooh, I'll take your lockpick. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to see that happen. Yeah. Something really bad happened in here. But let's keep moving on. We have to get to... We have to get to the water at some point here. And there are... Definitely more trolls to clear out, and they take five good arrows. I say five good arrows, that's if you don't miss and you don't allow them to regain too much of them. Because they're trolls. That's what they do. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take your troll fat. Four carry weight to get. Four carry weight away from the carry weight limit. Oh, it's just lousy trolls. Lousy. Oh, is it? Yeah, I can see he's gaining his health back. Which, the really nice thing about all this is... Filling soul gems up, too. Which trolls, I believe, have... I want to say common or greater soul. Which, I mean, isn't bad. It's certainly not bad. As far as that goes. Um, yeah, so here, yep, here we are, the fishing supplies. There's another troll. Ah, uh, yeah. He, he, he's gotta go. Or she. Could be she. I don't know. I just, I don't like being watched by trolls while I'm fishing. Oh, man, how did that? Okay, I know how that one missed there that time. Hoppin' mad. Hoppin' mad. Bye bye Thank you for making that easy for me. Uh, this corner should be... ...fairly clear, I think. Just wanna make sure I didn't miss any trolls. Uh, yeah. It's not cleared yet, but... Definitely made good strides for, for that. Ooh, or send him in the orcs. Heavy armor increased. That's nice. The year was third era, 399, and standing on a mountainside overlooking a vast tract of land between the lands of Menivia and Wayrest was a great and learned judge, an arbitrator and magistrate, impartial in submission to the law. You have a very strong claim to the land, my lad, said the judge. I won't lie to you about that, for your competition has an equal claim. This is what makes my particular profession difficult at times. You would call it my competition, sneered Lord, sneered Lord Boyne, gesturing to the orc. The creature, called Gortwag Gro Nagorm, looked up with hateful eyes. He has ample documentation to make a claim on the land. The magistrate shrugged. And the particular laws of our land do not discriminate between particular races. We had a Bosmore Regency once many generations ago. But what if a pig or a slaughterfish turned up demanding the property? Would they have the same legal rights as I? If they had the proper papers, I'm afraid so, smiled the judge. The law is very clear that if two claimants with equal titles to the property are set in deadlock, a duel must be held. Now, the rules are fairly archaic, but I've had opportunity to look them over. I think they're still valid. 
the Imperial Council agrees. What what must we What must we do? asked the orc, his voice low and harsh, unused unused to the tongue of the Cyrodiils. The first claimant that you, Lord Gorwalk, may choose the armor and weapon of the duelists. The second claimant, that's you, Lord Boyne, may choose the location. If you prefer either, both you may choose a weapon, or you may duel yourself. The Breton and the Orc looked at one another, evaluating. Finally, Gorwalk spoke. The armor will be the Orcish, and the weapons will be common steel longswords. No entrapments, no wizardry allowed. The arena will be central courtyard of my cousin Lord Berlin's. Oh, bro doing the wrong voice on that. Sorry about that. The arena will be the central courtyard of my cousin Lord Berlin's palace in Waymaster, said Boyne, said Boyne, looking Gortwog in the eye scornfully. None of your kind will be allowed in to witness. So it was agreed. Gortwog declared that he would fight the duel himself, and Boyne, who was a fairly young man and in better than average condition, felt that he could not keep his honor without competing himself as well. Still, upon arriving at his cousin's palace a week before the duel was scheduled, he felt the need to practice. A suit of orcish armor was purchased, and for the first time in his life, Boyne wore something of tremendous weight in limited facility. Boyne and Berleth sparred in the courtyard. In ten minutes' time, Boyne had to stop. He was red-faced and out of breath from trying to move from the armor. To add to his exasperation, he had not scored one blow on his cousin, and had dozens of fainted strikes scored on him. I don't know what to do, said Boyne over dinner. Even if I knew someone who could fight properly in that beastly steel, I couldn't possibly send in a champion to battle Gorwalk. Berleth commiserated. As the servants cleared the plates, Boyne stood up in his seat and pointed at one of them. You didn't tell me you had an orc in your household. Sir, whined the elderly specimen, turning to Lord Berleth, certain that he caused offense somehow. <laughs> you mean old Tuna? laughed Berleth. He's been with my house for ages. Would you like him to give you training on how to move an orc armor? Would you like me to? asked Tuner, obsequiously. Unknown to Berleth, but known to him now, his servant had once ridden with the legendary Cursed Legion of High Rock. He had not only he not only knew how to fight in orcish armor himself, but he had acted as trainer to other orcs before retiring into domestic service. Desperate, Boyne immediately engaged him as his full time trainer. You try too hard, sir, said the orc on the first day in the arena. It is easy to strain yourself in heavy mail. The joints are just so to let you to bend with only a little effort. If you fight against the joints, you won't have any strength to fight your foe. Boyne tried to follow Tuner's instructions, but he quickly grew frustrated. And the more frustrated he got, the more intensity he put into his work, which tired him out even quicker. While he took a break to drink some water, Barelet spoke to his servant. If they were optimistic about Boyne's chances, their faces did not show it. Tuner trained Boyne hard the next two days, but her ladyship Elsora's birthday followed hard upon them, and Boyne enjoyed the feast thoroughly. A liquor of poppies and goose fat, in a cock tinge with buttered hyssop for a first course, roasted pike, cumbord, and balls of rabbit meat for a second. Like meatballs, right? Like spaghetti meatballs? Something like that. Sliced fox tongues, balm pudding with oyster gravy, butter weed, and beans for the main course, colloquia ice, and sugar fritters for dessert. As Boyne was sitting back afterwards, his eyes weary, he suddenly spied Gortwog and the judge entering the room. What are you doing here? He cried. The duel's not for another two days. Lord Gortwog asked that we move it to tonight, said the judge. You were training when... My emissary arrived two days ago, but his lordship, your cousin, spoke for you, agreeing to the change of date. But there's no time to assemble my supporters, complained Boyne, and I've, I've just devoured a feast that would kill a lesser man. Cousin, how could you neglect to tell me? I spoke to Tuna about it, said Berleth, blushing, unused to deception. We decided that you would be best served under these conditions. The battle in the arena was sparsely attended. Saturated with food, Boyne found himself unable to move very quickly. To his surprise, the armor responded to his lethargy, rotating smoothly and elegantly to each stagger. The more he successfully maneuvered, the more he allowed his mind and not his body to control his defensive and offensive actions. For the first time in his life, Boyne saw that it was to look through the helm what it was to look through the helmet of an orc. Of course he lost. And rather badly, if, 
its scores had been tabulated. Gortwog was a master of each battle, but Boyne fought on for more than three hours before the judge reluctantly called a winner. I will name the land Orsinium after the land of my fathers, said the victor. Boyne's first thought was that it was that if he must lose to an orc, it was best that he battle with largely unwatched that the battle was largely unwatched by his friends and family. As he left the courtyard to go to bed, he had longed for early in the evening. He saw Gortwog speaking to Tuner. Though he did not understand the language, he could see that they knew each other. When the Breton was in bed, he had a servant bring the old orc room. Tuner, uh, Tuner, he said kindly, speak frankly to me. You wanted Lord Gortwog to win. That is true, said Tuner, but I did not fail you. You fought better than you would have fought two days hence, sir. I did not want Orsinium to be won by its king without a fight. Alright. Definitely makes for an interesting story. But now, let's make an interesting story of our own. Fishing. Let's catch that vampire fish. If I can find the fishing supplies, there they are. Excellent, excellent. Uh, yeah, let's let's go Alacree fishing rod on this. Why not? Ooh, already immediately shown up that there are fish here. That's good. That's excellent. Oh, this probably isn't a vampire fish. Nope, it's a histcarp. Thank you for not being what I need. Let's try this again. Hang on, I see something swimming in there. I, I, it might be a dire fish. It's entirely possible that it's a dire fish. Another Histcarp, okay. So I might, I might have to have Felix, old Felix here, jump in the water and see what's under there. Maybe not. Oh, that's most likely a dire fish. Tripod spiderfish. Okay, tripod spiderfish, uncommon, which tells me the vampire fish is probably the rare on this. Yeah. I can confirm. I know I'd been I know I'd been speculating about it last Gone Fishing episode, but now I can confirm. Um there are there are common, uncommon, and rare fish. So that really really makes it more dependent upon RNG, which I'm not known for having the best luck with RNG. Random number generation. <sighs> Which is why maybe I should look up the size of the fish. Just to know for certain. Just to save myself hassle, you know. Silver side perch. You know what? Felix, jump in there. What have we got here? We got anything good here? Hang on. Oh, it's it's really shallow water here, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it's a dire fish. It's a dire fish. That's what I thought. Alright, Felix, get back to fishing. Let's see if we can catch that vampire fish in the next two minutes. Which is not likely to happen. But, if it does, I'll be pleasantly surprised. It'd be nice. Nope, we're on to junk. Yep, we are on to the junk section. So let me just uh, let me just get rid of that. And now let's complete clearing this cave out of trolls. Cause I have to get out of here some somehow. Huh. Okay. Okay. Alcove there. Small hallway here. Okay. Goat that won't faint anymore. Bandit that used to be here. With minor healing potion. Chest that has really seen some better days. Something bad happened here. I don't want to keep my camera on it for too long. That's that's just nasty. Okay. So that's the way I entered through. So it only seems it only seems logical to go this way. Yeah. This
this way, this way. Ooh, coin purse. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Hello. Oh man, and to think I started this episode off with just cleaning bandits out left and right, honestly. Man. Uh well. Yeah, you can miss a few shots, it's fine. I mean it's not fantastic that it happens, but I mean Can't can't expect perfection every single Ooh, there's a chest here. Flawless garnet, some gold, a glass bow that I don't need, and necklace of eminent alchemy. Ooh, that's nice. Now, I think, oh, let's get rid of some of these fish that I don't need, shall we? Hmm, actually, no, there's not much there that I can really get rid of. I think the same goes for this, I think. Oh. Yeah, I have soul tomatoes. Forgot about that. Yeah, I literally have soul tomatoes. That's literally a thing. Also, my controller cocked out and refuses to return. Why is this happening? There we go. You know what? Maybe I can get rid of some of these. Oh, okay. I was going to sell that. I don't need Arvel's journal. I've had that since the beginning. I'm going to keep that. Oh. Let's see here. Beware of the butcher. I don't need those. Uh, bounties. Let's throw those out. The fishing one's going to keep those. The butcher's journal. I'm surprised that. They don't take those from you, which is kind of surprising considering they are evidence. Um, Yoften's notes, Kenthal's journal. Ah, there's just a lot of, oh yeah, there are books here I've forgotten to sell. Uh, keep the report on Otronach Forge experiments. Oh, uh, I was going to sell that. Found more dossiers. They're no longer relevant. Oh, wow. Okay. The White Run Home Decorating Guide. Yeah, don't care. Uh, cool. Freed up some carry weight there. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, Dark Shade is cleared. Which means, once again, we're going to have to move to another location to find what we're looking for. To find the elusive... Vampire fish. Vampire fish. I don't know why I said it weirdly there. Like, I started saying vampire, and then I tried to go more for the British style of, way, style of saying that, which is vampire. And it just sounded weird. It just sounded awful. Okay. Yep, so let's get out of dark shade here. Right, we were going to head towards, down towards Lost Knife Hideout. So I'm definitely going definitely going to do that yep and that's that location marker that's showing me there is just the optional read read fishing mastery which I don't care about however it is pointing in the generally correct direction for lost knife hideout so that's actually a good thing I can take advantage of that Okay, nice little river here. Looks like we're gonna have to go buy some giants here. Hey! Hey look, there's a goat! I have a fainting goats mod! <laughs> the goats in Skyrim just love me. Not really. Every time they see me, they just... Wah, wah. They just flop over. Nah. Oh hey, this is a nice little ruin here. Ah, Skeever! Get away, you filthy rat! Get away! 
Away with you. Get away. Get away from me. There we go. And a level up. Oh, yes, please. I will take that. Oh, what to increase, what to increase. Uh, let's... Hmm. Let's increase magic go by a little bit. Seems like fun. Um, yeah. Put another point into Enchanter. That seems like a smart thing to do. Ah, that might be it. That might be where I have to go over there. Which, I believe this is the abandoned prison that I have stumbled upon here. If my memory is correct on this. It should say, yeah, abandoned prison discovered. And just upriver here, before we head over towards where Lost Knife Hideout is, Uh, there's a shack that has been crushed by a tree here. Which, the significance of this is there is something worth finding in here. Okay, Lucky Lorenz, who was not very lucky. Had some gold on him, a lot of meat, a lockpick. Treasure map 9, that's what I wanted to find on him. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh wait, did I... Did I say nine? That was wrong. Six. Wait, no. That is nine. No, that is treasure map nine. I was right. It's just displaying them out of order because it goes by first letter. It doesn't pick up that they're Roman numerals. Whatever. Ah, uh, I know where that is. I know where that treasure is. Excellent. But, let's stop wasting time around here. Sorry, Lorenz, you were not fortunate. You were not lucky. Like your name suggests. You had a bad day. Oh, what's that? There's a book next to him. Can I get to it? I might be able to get to it. The Lusty Argonian Maid, Volume 1. Let's not read that. Let's not. I'd read that. There are some books in Skyrim that are worth reading. And then there are some where, to read them out loud, you are sullying your own ears. Let's not do that. Instead, we will continue on our mission. Yes, yes, I, this, this should be the place. Here. Yep, it definitely is, definitely is. Excellent. Welcome to Lost Knife Hideout. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the Glass Bow of Stunning, which I can recharge it with with the soul, with my soul gem, because I, because I filled some up. I, and I have to say, Lost Knife Hideout is one of my favorite locations. Um, except it started me off with a bandit plunder. Please don't plunder me. Don't do it. This is a no plundering zone, man. Get away. Get away from me. Yeah, no, plunders are a little bit more powerful than marauders, I believe. Or they're kind of on the same power level. So, I want, I really want to be careful here. Yeah, because I, I need to push into the next uh, chamber of this cave in order to get where I'm going, where the water is. Missed it. Oh. Well, he appears to be stuck. How fortunate for me. Unfortunate for him. Resisted paralyzed. Come on, man, what's your constitution score? What, what, did you roll a natural 20? Come on. No, 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 no. 
I've got you down to half health. Come on out. Must be my imagination. Please make this easy for me. Yeah, he's, he's just kind of stuck in the little stream there. Stuck in the stream with you. Come on. There you are. Oh. Nice. Oh. Added axe flip there. Nice. Nice. Cool. Okay, so the first bandit... Or the, the other bandit, I know I took him out by the sound, by the sound effects that I heard. I think he was just a normal bandit. Yeah, he was. Lost knife cage key, okay. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna clear this place out either. I think instead, I'll just get far enough into it where I can get the fish. Like, this is where I wanted to go. Look at this place. There are, there's a whole bunch of water here. Which hopefully means there's a vampire fish in there somewhere. Oh, come on. Missed it. Ooh. Thug coming after me. And there's a plunder up there. Oh, Okay, when getting a vampire fish is not as straightforward as it seems. I mean, I kind of expected that. With it being a rare fish and all. But still. Me. I always prefer it when things go nice and easy. And when they don't, it just think, makes things a little inefficient. I don't like inefficiency. Yeah. Uh, tactical relocation while he is paralyzed on the ground there. Because of my arrow. Yep. I'll just keep backing up and they'll keep pursuing me, potentially. Oh, they definitely are. They're... They're going pretty far. Wow. They pursued me. Good way. What are you, what are you doing? Having a bad day? Was, oh. Finished you off with an arrow to the knee. Classic Skyrim. Uh, can I hit these arrows, please? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now that those bandits are taken out, it should make it a little bit easier to go after the fish. At least that's the hope. Uh, what happened to the... Ah, there. There she is. Oh, plenty of gold and arrows. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. Over an hour into the recording, how much gold do we have? Ooh, wow, okay. Nice. Yeah. Going after bandits as well, especially if they're... Higher difficulty bandits means that, well, they're likely to have some gold on them. They're likely to have some stuff. But now, let's go find some fish. Oh, okay, it has actual fishing supplies. I was wondering about that. Since that's the case, ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to want to take some of these bandits out as well. Because I don't want to get caught fishing. Okay, I see two dots up there. Three dots, excuse me. However, I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. It was just this guy that was patrolling that was really going to be a problem for me. So let's go ahead and sneak back over there. Just hop our way over there. hop a hop 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 a hop 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 hop
I don't know why I started scat singing there. I don't know why. It just sort of happened. Well, yep, here we go. Let's can we find a vampire fish finally? That'd be nice. That that'd be really nice. Okay, nipple. Hmm. Silverside perch. That's not what I need. And okay, let's try this again. Take take two. Vampire fish. Nope, it's a hissed car. Huh. Well, isn't this just a joyous and wondrous occasion? And again. Silverside Perch. Oh boy, fishing in Skyrim. Really fun thing to do. Sometimes. If, I mean, if you get lucky with it. Oh. And now we're catching buckets. I have a two bucket policy. I keep. Ah, gosh! Ah, oh, they always drop on my foot every time. Ow. Okay, salmon. That's the bucket. Okay. Is it just, is it just salmon? Tripod. Uh, spider fish. Once again, don't need that. I need a vampire fish. Uh, well, okay. I do need a vampire fish, but while I'm here, there's a nice convenient cave over there that I can just go through and, you know, hopefully we find something good. More tripod spider fish. I'm sensing a pattern here. Tripod spider fish like to sit at the bottom of these places. That's fine. It's great and all. But, I mean, there are certain fish that I need. Hey, 62 gold. Thank you for that. So, I'm going to I'm going to look this up honestly. Cause we're we're far enough into the recording where you know I've searched enough locations here that I I mean yeah I I've searched enough here. Oh okay, vampire fish is uncommon. And I need to use the Argonian fishing rod, not even the Alacri fishing rod. So, wow. Um, consider me, um, uh, consider me what? Consider me what? Bamboozled? Wrong on all counts? Something like that. Uh, well, at least I have an answer. Bad news. Bad news, it would seem as if the fishing has dried up here. So I probably need to find another location go or go back to one that I've been to before. So I'm just catching junk down here. It's not even worth it. Once, he, once you start catching junk, after five or six fish, then you don't really catch fish after that at that location. Which is disappointing with these underground fishing locations. But that gives me good intel. Uncommon and Argonian fishing rod. So now, now with that, let's go back to where it said the underground fish were. Been to Broken Ore Grotto, been to uh, Great Lift at Oftund. Oh, and apparently uh, uh, inside Blackreach there was an actual fishing location there that allows you to catch dwarves and stuff. I don't really care about that 
Uh, ooh. Shadow Green Cavern. Might be a good place to go to. Let's see, where's that at? Um... Let's see here. It's actually to the west of Ravenscar Hollow. So let's let's go there. <sighs> We're exploring all sorts of places today. <laughs> oh, I forgot you were here. Dang it. Ah, uh, mistakes were made. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. Just want to go fishing, saber cat. And I will not have my fishing ruined by the likes of you, okay? Bear that in mind. Also, do you have a saber cat tooth on you? Nope, you just have an eye. I'll take that, though. What? I need it for alchemy. What can I say? Hello, workers. Don't mind me. Just heading up this way. West. Or west. Whichever you prefer to say. I think I'm heading in the right direction for this, at least. I think. Unless I made a mistake again. Which is entirely possible. No, no. Never mind. It should be right up here. That uh, undiscovered cave over there. Right? Maybe? Potentially. Hopefully. Because I really want a vampire fish. Right. Sorry about that little uh, pause there, that little cut, that little jump. My laptop that I'm recording this on is doing some weird stuff. So, it's, it's having a little battery something or other wish it, I wish it wouldn't do that but I mean it happens okay I'm looking here I'm look I'm looking here I'm looking here wait where would Oh, wait. Shadow Green Cavern. Bears, Spriggans, and Wolves. You know what? No, no. I'm going to make a decision here. This this is getting just complicated. So, in order to make things a little bit simpler, I'm going to go back to locations that I have been to already. Just in the hopes that I can finally get the vampire fish. I don't want this to turn into another frenzied mud crab instance where things don't go in my favor. I'm also going to keep an eye on that whole battery thing on my on my computer here. Don't know if I should be worried about that or not. Maybe. Probably. Uh well, it's definitely concerning, so... Why even... 